What's up guys, welcome back to Andrew's Footsteps and today I have a new book I'm gonna recommend to you which is called Until the End of Time by Danielle Steele. I have the French uh, version of the book. It's a really amazing story that I read a few weeks ago and I highly recommend that uh, each one of you reads it. Basically, I want to start by saying that if you love stories about uh, déjà vu, about uh, past lives, about soulmates, twin flames, destiny and choices we make in life, then this is the book for you. Uh, actually, in this book, uh, until the end of time, there are two stories inside. One story is about Bill and Jenny, and the other story is about Lily and Robert. The two stories are a bit similar in the concept. However, each one happens in different timeline. So the first story happens in 1975, and the other one happens in 2013. So there are about 40 years of difference between them. They are not related together, each story is separate, however, as I told you, like the concept is basically the same. So the first story in the book is about Bill and Jenny and it happens in 1975. Basically, Bill is a lawyer who is not happy with his job. He only uh, became a lawyer because all of his family are lawyers and it's like he was forced in a way to follow his family's path. And we also have Jenny who is like a, like a fashion advisor. She has her own agency and she works with multiple clients. She is very well known in New York and her work is going very well. One day they meet, I'm not going to tell you how they meet or how many times they meet, but it's as if destiny, it was destiny and it was meant for them to meet, as if they are two twin flames who are just searching for each other. Uh, the thing is that at one point, Bill decides to leave the lawyer business because he's not happy at all and to go do to become actually a priest. Why a priest? Because he was always passionate about theology. And this is why the story is so fantastic and also so emotional, let's say. Because at this point, Jenny has a great job in New York, but Bill found also a great job as a priest in another region. So are they gonna move together? Is there love enough for them to move together? Who is the one who is going to make the most of sacrifices for their couple? So this is, these are the questions that, that are asked in this story. And at the same time, this story shows that whatever questions you have, destiny or the universe somehow is gonna resolve all the questions. Like at the right moment, at the right time, everything becomes clearer. The story, as I said, is so emotional. Their love is so great. And it really shows how uh, two twin flames, two soulmates who are really meant to be together Will, will find the way to make sacrifices and to make the relationship work. So this is the first story, Bill and Jenny, really nice one. So the second part of the book talks about the amazing story of Lily and Robert. Basically, uh, Robert is a guy who has a publishing agency and is searching for a great book to publish in order for his agency to become very well known. At the same time, we have Lily who is an Amish girl. Amish are a Christian community who decided to live in the old ways. So basically they do not have access to technology, to electricity, they don't even have contact with the outside world. But Lily had lots of dreams. She, she always thought about how the outside world and the cities uh, look like. So she decided to write a book about a girl who leaves her community to discover the whole world. And when the book is finished, she wanted to publish it. But as an Amish, she was forbidden to write a book or to publish. And if she defies the rules, she can be banned from, from their community. And this is where the story becomes very interesting. Because uh, Lily finds a way to send her book by post to Robert's publishing agency. And Robert falls in love with the book. But how are they going to be able to meet? Because Robert cannot come into the community and Lily cannot go outside the community. This second story talks a lot also about déjà vu and previous lives because when they call each other to talk about uh, the book she wrote, uh, Robert feels as if he knows Lily from before. And same thing for Lily. She feels as if she already heard Robert's voice before, as if they were together in a previous life. So this is how the story begins. And this is like the main turning point because uh, it, it shows you how Lily is willing to sacrifice how much she is willing to go in order to achieve her dream, in order to discover the world, and most importantly, to publish her book. And the story not only stops at publishing the book, because they and Robert fall in love together, and this is like uh, the main idea. 
will they be able to be together? Will they be able to live together? Because as an Amish, she only has the right to live or to marry an Amish person. So this is like the, the main idea of the book. How will she be able to convince her parents, to convince her community that what she is doing is not, uh, is not wrong? Will she break the rules that were, uh, were made in this community? I'm not going to spoil the book for you. I'm just going to tell you that it is full of emotions. You will really get attached to the characters and you will keep on thinking uh, about them long after you finish reading this story. So I would like to end this review by saying that this book and the two stories are very well written, they are full of emotions, and the characters, you get attached to them very quickly. Like from reading the first pages, you are going to want to read more and more in order to know what's going to happen at the end. I know from myself, from my personal experience, that when I was arriving to the last page, I really wanted to just turn to the last page just to see what the ending is going to be. I can just tell you that both endings are very fulfilling but also very surprising. You cannot imagine the endings of both stories. And if there's, if there's something to learn or some lessons from this book is, is how far each one of us is willing to go in order to achieve his or her dreams. And also it is very important to always trust the destiny, to trust the universe, because everything at the right time will be clearer. This is what I believe in and this is what this book also made me believe in more and more. Finally, I would like to say thank you for watching this video. Make sure to hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you read this book before. What did you think about it? And make sure to stay tuned for more videos that will be published soon. I'll be seeing you next time. Cheers.